Hi, Krista. So, I have to study. I know it's not Friday, but I'm just gonna record myself studying and then cut it down to four minutes. I was busy at work last night, but I already completed the first four questions. I always write it out for some reason and then type it up because she doesn't accept written work despite my amazing, terrible handwriting. So question number four is describe the different types of polysaccharides and what are the major differences in each. The first one is glycogen. La la la. Uh, then there are starches. Um, so generally the two starches we're concerned with are amylose, which you probably heard of, and amylopectin, which is basically the same thing. So amylose is just a straight chain of glucose molecules, whereas amylopectin is a branched chain of glucose molecules. Glycogen is more heavily branched. Amylopectin is sort of like several parallel branches. And then fibers. Their dietary fibers are also carbohydrates, but we can't digest them. There's some bacteria that have the appropriate enzymes, and some of those bacteria will live in your gut. Insoluble fiber is not fermentable by bacteria in your gut. Um, that's the stuff that's not soluble in water. Um, and it doesn't form gums or gels. It doesn't thicken um, what you're eating, the liquid that you're eating. So... Um, as a result, it doesn't slow digestive empty or gastric emptying, the emptying of your stomach as much. Whereas um, soluble fibers do form gums and gels, and they slow gastric emptying, it's the emptying of your stomach. Um, so you feel fuller longer. Pr promotes your feelings of satiety. Satiety. It is very important to eat foods with plenty of insoluble fiber in order to have comfortable bowel movements. Um, also for colorectal health, it prevents diverticular disease and diets high in insoluble fiber will reduce your risk for colorectal cancer. That's for healthy people. It's also important to note that for a lot of folks who have a lot of chronic issues with their colon, sometimes eating foods that are high in insoluble fiber can actually be detrimental. It can be very irritating. People who engage in anal sex are somewhat more likely to get colorectal cancer than their peers who do not. Did you know that the carapace of arth arthropods um, is also carbohydrate? It's called chitin. Mushrooms use it too. It's like the mushrooms and arthropods are in league or something. We're already on question five and it's only been 25 minutes of filming. Explain the step-by-step -step -step process of carbohydrate digestion. Sublingual amylase breaks down starchy stuff in the mouth. In the small intestine, pancreatic amylase does some stuff to break down glucose glucose bonds. Well, I filled the four minutes a little faster than I expected to. That was just the first two questions. There were five more. But it's just turned out to be a video about fiber, and everybody loves fiber. So, Krista, I will see you tomorrow.